Good morning and welcome to the Daily Download. I'm your host, Dr. Darrell R. Pulley. This is the day that the Lord has made. We are rejoicing and we are glad in it. So glad that you're joining us on a Tuesday morning for the Daily Download. Yes, the Lord daily loads us with benefits and my heart and my mind are open to receive all the lessons and all the blessings that God has planted in this day for me. I'm telling you, this day is already loaded. It is all already jam-packed, and I pray that your heart and your mind are open and receptive to divine unlimited ideas. Welcome again to the Daily Download. If this is your first time watching us, like and follow the Dr. DeRar Pulley page so that you can get notifications whenever we are on Facebook Live. Have you had a wonderful wonderful Labor Day yesterday. I hope you enjoyed this weekend with family and friends and those that you love, spreading that positive vibe and that positive energy. Yes, we got a short work week this week, so I hope that you enjoyed your Labor Day, that you had a rest from all of your labors, knowing that the Daily Download does not air on weekends or holidays. So I'm back with you today. Happy Tuesday. And it's a new month for us on the Daily Download. It is the month of September. Can you believe already that we're in the month of September uh, of 2018, which is we're coming down the home stretch of the last quarter of the year. And I'm just so glad for all the blessings that God has bestowed upon us. I wonder where you are with your goals goals, with your dreams, with your visions for 2018. And so today we're starting a new series and we're talking about the two most powerful words that you can say. Yes, they are two words that you can say out of your mouth that are the two most powerful words that you can say. And I wonder, do you know what those two most powerful words are that you can say? Sometimes before we can discover what it is, first we have to find out what it is not. All right. So, um, so for some people, uh, the two most powerful words are pulley point number one, I can. Some people feel that when they say I can do something, that those are the two most powerful words that they can say. Even the scripture says I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. So some people feel that the two most powerful words are I can. When we say I can, we're speaking of our abilities. We're speaking of our abilities. We're speaking of our uh, processing, that aspect of the soul, which is the intellect, which is the processing, our ability to do things, to process information, our ability to do things is in the soulless realm. And that first part of the soul that we're dealing with today is the intellect and the process. And that's where the words I can come from. They come from the intellect and the processing of of the soul. So when we say I can, we are speaking from our souls. Very good words, I can, but I don't believe that I can are the two most powerful words. They are powerful words, but I do not believe that those are the two most powerful words. Jesus said that um, I am the vine and you are the branches. Without me, you can do nothing. So to recognize, um, I can, to recognize the abilities, your ability to process, your intellect, the gifts that God has given you is very powerful. But I don't believe that I can are the two most powerful words you can say. Uh, point number two, uh, some people feel like the two most powerful words that they can say is I feel. Uh, that some of us are very feeling people um, and the feeling nature is in the soul as well. So when we say I feel, we're speaking from our soul because in the soul is where our heart is, is where our emotions are, is where our feelings are. And so some people feel like when they say I feel that they are saying the two most powerful words that they can say. Even in interpersonal communication, they teach you to stop using you statements. You, 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 you. Because when you say you, um, in front of something and puts the other person on the defensive. So we're taught in interpersonal communication instead of saying you, 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 to say I feel. That when you do this, I feel this way. When you say this, I feel that way. And it is a very powerful thing to be in touch with your feelings, with your emotions. The Bible says we have not a high priest that cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities. That Jesus was tempted in all points, like as we are, yet without sin. So yes, to get in touch with your feelings is very as powerful. Um, when I feel, I deal so I can heal. So yes, getting in touch with your feelings and owning your 
your feelings, recognizing your feelings is a very powerful thing to do. To say I feel are very powerful words to say, but I don't believe that I feel are the two most powerful words you can say. So pulley point number one, uh, we do not believe that I can is the most powerful word, two most powerful words you can say. Pulley point number two, I don't think it is um, I feel as being the most positive words you can say or the most powerful words you can say. Pulley point number three, um, some people think that I think are the two most powerful words you can say. To be in touch with your thinking, to be in touch with your mind. You know the saying, a mind is a terrible thing to waste. So when you are in touch with your thinking and when you're really thinking things through and uh, when you're really thinking about your actions, that that's the most powerful thing that you can do is express your thoughts to express what you are thinking, to express what's on your mind. And even the Bible says, as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. As a woman thinks in her heart, so is she. So I think it's very powerful to be able to share your thoughts. It's very powerful. But again, I think it's still coming from the soul. It is coming from the mind, that part of the soul. And so I don't believe that those are the two most powerful words you can say. Even though thinking is very important. And God gave us a brain. God gave us a mind to be able to think. But I do not believe the two most powerful words that you can say is I think. Can you believe it? Pulley point number four. Uh, the fourth uh, thing that people think is the most powerful thing that they can say, the two most powerful words, is I must. Yes, that, that comes from the part of the soul, which is the will, which makes decisions. And to say, I will or I must, that people feel like I must. And when you get something where it's, I got to do this, it's, a, it's like a duty, it's like an obligation, it's like a, it's like a call, I must do this. And even Jesus said, I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day, because when night comes, no man can work. Jesus said, yes, um, he said, I must. And so I must, and making a decision, one of the most powerful things you can do is make a decision because God sets before us life and death, good and evil, um, blessings and cursings, and we make a choice to bless ourselves or to curse ourselves. We make a choice uh, to receive the good that life has to offer or to struggle. And so some people feel that I must are the two most powerful words that you can say because you have made a decision. You know how wishy people, wishy-washy people are? They keep going back and forth and in and out and up and down. And it's like, will you make a decision? What is it that you must do? And so even though I must is very powerful, I do not believe that I must are the two most powerful words that you can say. Notice all the words that we said come from the soul. Okay, I can speaks of your intellect and your processing, which is in your soul. Um, I feel is coming from your heart which is another part of your soul, your emotions. Um, I, um, I must um, is coming from your soul, your will, your decision making. I think is coming from your soul. It is coming from your mind and expressing your thoughts. But moving beyond the soul, because we're threefold beings, uh, we're not just souls. We have souls, but that's not the true essence of who we are. The true essence of who we are is spirit. So the two most powerful words that you can say is I am. That's right, I said. The two most powerful words that you can say is I am. So today, practice saying I am. Say I am as much as you can say it today. Put it in your coffee. Put it in your tea today. Put it in your water. Put it in every beverage that you have. I am. Speak it to your friends, to your family members, your neighbors, your co-workers, your classmates. Speak it in the atmosphere. Speak it to the universe. The two most powerful words that you can say is I am. The two most powerful words that I can say is I am. The two most powerful words that we can say is I am. So for the month of September, we will be working with these two most powerful words, which are I am. And I'm telling you, I am will change your life. It will change your situation, your circumstance, your condition, your predicament. I am are the two most powerful words that you can say. So say them as much as you possibly can today, throughout this month, throughout this year, throughout the rest of your life, the two most powerful words that you can say is I 
am. If you don't feel comfortable saying I am, then that's an indication that maybe this is not something I need to say out of my mouth. Because the two most powerful words that you can say is I am. I love you so much. I bless you today. I bless your day. Thank you so much for being a part of the Daily Download. Remember to like this and to share it on your page because somebody else needs to know what are the two most powerful words that we can say, which is I am. Thank you for your feedback today. Uh, thank you for your giving today. I love you. I appreciate you so much. Until tomorrow morning at 6.30 a.m. Remember, God is doing something wonderful in me and God is doing something wonderful in you.